Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. I have a question that a viewer asked me, so I'm gonna explain it in this video. I made a video uh, probably a couple months ago, several months ago, about how to buy emails. And one of the questions was, what do I do with them after I buy them? Like, where do I put them? How do I collect them? How do I use them again? And if you're not sure how to do that, your thought would be, oh, put them in a spreadsheet and then I can email these people through my personal email. And you don't want to do that because if you start sending quantity emails through your personal account, you will be considered spam and you will be shut down. So you don't want to do that. I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Now there are several steps. I'm going to give you the steps in an easy format, but to actually do all of this, you have to do some more research, if that makes sense. I'm gonna give you the resources, and then you have to learn how to use a couple of pieces of software. I even have a free course to give you that will help you. But in a nutshell, I'm gonna show you what you do. The first thing you're gonna do is by the emails and i've already made a video about that i do have it above but i don't want you to watch it yet or go watch it and then come back i also have the link below and that way you can watch these videos in order i'll explain what the video is and the steps below and you can click them and take your time and go through them all right and all right let's get started and the first thing i'm going to do is give you a visual of what i'm going to talk about and the steps that you need to take to be able to collect these emails and have them in a place where you can email people again and again and again and talk about your products or whatever it is that you're offering. The first thing I wanna show you is this diagram. There's parts or steps in collecting the emails and being able to have a list of potential leads or clients and keep them in one place and keep them in a place where you can keep on contacting them. And basically, in this case, you're gonna start out with buying the email list. Now, where do you go to buy an email list? Let me show you that. In my email that I talked to you about before, you go to a site that sells emails and it's called Unimi, but I'm gonna give you a quick review. The other, uh, the other video will go in more detail, but you, I've had people ask me, okay, I've gone into the site and I'm not really sure who I should hire. And one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna go up here where it says keyword and you wanna type in, what is it that you're selling? So maybe you have fit, a fitness program. So you're looking for an email list where people are interested in fitness. So you're gonna submit that. Then a list of sellers will pop up. Here's Mike, here's Kanjana, um, a whole bunch of people that have a list of people's names and emails that are interested in fitness. And what you do in a nutshell, I'll tell you very quickly, is you can buy a list of 100 emails at 40 cents a piece. And for instance, what they'll do, here's Melinda down here. Melinda will send an email from you out to her list and those people will click your offer. Does that make sense? And you only pay for the ones that get clicked. So she may send this out to a list of 100,000 people. You only bought a hundred emails. So the first hundred people to click, she will send that list to you. Does that make sense? Now, what do you do with them? Where do they go? Let me show you that. We're going to go back to our sample. You have to have some kind of an offer or a landing page or a link that those people get to click that drives them to a location for you. And basically we call that a landing page. Now I have my landing page set up in ClickFunnels. Let me bring you to that. When they click the link, it takes them to the landing page. I'm gonna show that to you in a minute. And then they have an opt-in. This is where they put their name and their email and whatever you're offering them for free, we call that a lead magnet. Magnet, And I have another email below talking all about lead magnets and different types. Then they opt in. When they opt in to get that free thing that you're giving them, you get their email. Yes, these are emails that you are getting from Melinda that you bought, but this is a way that you can preserve them and send them into a autoresponder. Now an autoresponder, I use Active Campaign. I will give you the link to that as well. I'll show you what that looks like. But Active Campaign will collect all those emails and now I have them in one place and I can send out a weekly newsletter, monthly, whatever you wanna do, and I can continue to contact these people. Let's go back and look at the landing page, okay? All right, so we showed you step one where you go to do this site and buy your emails and there's a link below for that so you know where to go. 
Now you're going to go to a site called ClickFunnels, which shows you how to make a landing page. This is where you're directing your people to because they're going to opt in. You're going to send them something and then you're going to collect the emails. And I'm going to show you that as well. Let's go ahead and look at step two. This is what the page looks like. It's a landing page. This is where people go. You're, in, in this case, I'm offering an email marketing course. You actually have access to this below free course that will go into detail on how to set up the email um, marketing part. When the person clicks that, they'll go to the page that gives them their item for free. In this case, I was offering you a free email marketing course. You might offer something like a free recipe book for fitness. We just talked about getting fitness emails. So maybe you say, these are my favorite five recipes and I'm going to send them to you for free. And then when they click this button, it will take them, it will automatically send it to them. All of this is in ClickFunnels and this is what it looks like when you're building a page here. And you can just click, you can add things. Look, you can add more blocks, all kinds of things. It's really easy to use. When you use the 15 day free trial, there's actually a training on how to do this, but you have to have, there's other software tools out there as well. This just happens to be what I use, but you have to have a place for them to get something from you that you're offering and then you need to be able to collect it. Now you're like, okay, well, where am I collecting these emails? Well, the, so when they get the free email marketing course, their name goes right here into the free email marketing course. I'm going to open that up. I have an automated sequence of emails that are sent to them. And at the end of those few emails that I have sequenced, then they go into my main list. If that makes sense down here at the bottom, then they are into my soap opera, which tells a little bit about myself. And then after that, they go into my weekly newsletter. So they get to hear, Hey, did, did it arrive? Do you have any problems? I could send five or six emails automated. And then here are some automated emails. It says here, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. And then after that, they go directly into an automated system where they get my weekly email. But this is a way that I can keep track of them. I hope I answered the question, what you do. I'm going to bring back up that visual, but remember you buy the emails. You, when you send the person that you're buying emails from, they're going to say, um, what kind of offer do you want to give? They'll talk to you. They'll tell you what to do. And you might have a little email written up some kind of an offer, a link that will bring them to your offer landing page. They opt in, they give you their email address. You give them that free thing, the free recipe book, whatever it is, then their name shoots over to your autoresponder. And that's where you collect your emails. If you have any questions, put them below. Like I said, this was a quick review to give you a broader view of what this entails. I know the first time you look at it, it may seem really um, confusing, but actually it's pretty smooth once you get it set up and it just works for you automatically. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.